In this video, I'm gonna show you how to record and mix vocals with stock plugins on FL Studio. Making songs in FL Studio is my thing. <laughs> I just made this beat in the melodies tutorial. That's the last video. Hey, uh, yeah. I have absolutely no idea of a flow or anything for this, so this should be fun. First thing you're gonna wanna do is have an audio interface and set up a mic. I have this Shure SM7B here. If you don't know how to do that, I don't know, dude, look up a YouTube tutorial. First thing you wanna do is get an empty mixer track. I'm gonna hit F2 and call record. How about that? I'm gonna give it a nice different color, red, boom. Boom. I'm gonna go over here. I have my mic on input two. I'm gonna click this. Oh God, I turn the volume down. You're also gonna need headphones. Here's my headphones, but there's a little bit of a delay. I'm talking, I'm talking half, a half a second later. So there's a couple ways you can do this. There's different ways of just hearing your voice with the effects, without the effects. The crazy way that I do this is I don't have the monitor on because I just wanna feel the vibe, dude, and just suffer the latency problems. So I go into audio settings, open my ASIO control panel and put the buffer size to 16 so that the second I talk, it comes out. Nothing in here is final. I tend to throw on stock plugins because I don't really give a shit. If I want it to sound better, I'll take them all off and send them to someone to get mixed. 99.999% of the time, I don't do that because it's fine. I don't remember what key this in. I pitched it up and down a bunch of times. So I'm gonna go and add FL keys, this might be difficult for some people. If you don't know what key it's in, you can press play on the melody. I think it's D sharp minor. Sometimes I'm wrong with these and it's okay. So I'm gonna go in here and literally go to picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really care now. Yeah, yeah. You guys can't hear this, but trust me, it sounds really good. If you want auto-tune on your vocals, usually most of the time you'll record with it on. It just sounds better, so you're not getting this like T-Pain auto-tune effect. So I'm just gonna record some shit. It's gonna suck. It's gonna be all mumbles. So to set up recording, this little button down here is already activated. You're gonna wanna make sure you have the mic selected on here. So you're gonna wanna make sure this recording filter has audio, so it's gonna record audio, it's gonna record everything. Basically, when you're ready, you just wanna press play. Yeah. I don't really give a fuck now. Yeah, shit. Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. Uh, fuck, shit. I hope you learn how to mix this in your spare time. Beautiful. All right, so only effect on now is uh, auto-tune. Yeah. So what we can do now, so we're not hearing the mic, we can go into this and select none. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck now. Perfect, it's off. So I'm gonna double click on the audio track, control L, send it to a mixer track. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck now. And I, this is the melody right here. I'm actually gonna hold Alt, left and the arrow key twice. I like to match up the melody with the vocals and just get them in level. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck now. Yeah, shit. Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. That's <laughs> so bad. All right, so the first thing we can do actually is select none on the snap, drag this in a little bit. I'm gonna select the slicer tool and get this initial thing to time up better with the drop. And two, because we're slicing, I'm gonna double click on the audio and de-clicking mode. I'm gonna change it to generic. So it's gonna add these little fades in and out of the vocals. So you're not getting little clickings and everything just sounds a lot cleaner. There's a whole alt, I'm gonna select this one. Yeah. And I'm just gonna time it up so this comes in when I say, I don't really give a f Yeah, I don't really give a fuck now. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck now. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck now. You can hold shift to make it a lot cleaner too, just to like click. I'm gonna double click, I'm gonna normalize this, I'm gonna reverse the polarity as well. I'm gonna go into the track, and now I do have some presets saved. This is what I do for most of my vocals. You can EQ them. Let's just recreate this. This is this is my basic. I have two EQs that I've usually put on all of them just to like get it sounding good. So if you want to recreate this, you can right click, type, high pass, right click, order. Uh, let's do like steep, order steep eight. And then I'm gonna bring this in. What did I do here? And then I think I brought this two up around to the 100. 100 hertz. I think this is actually a little too steep, so maybe steep four. And then you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel to change stuff as well, change the percentages. And then, you know, bring the four down, and the three, bring the two up a little bit. Everyone's voice is gonna be completely different. Doing tutorials in my Here's the second one I do. 
Calbee's wrapping too. The order in which these EQs show up are very important. So if you scroll one below the other, then it's first going into this EQ and then it's going into that EQ. And if you put this one on top of this one, I know you can't see it happening. The, vo the vocal is first going into this and then going into this. This matters a lot with like reverbs and like compression and delays and stuff like that because you, if you put a delay on and then you have a reverb now there's reverb on the delay and then if you put a compressor after that then it's compressing it all i'm going to show you my vocal chain Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. usually with vocals you want to cut the lows type high pass Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. depending on your vocal structure Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time and the style that you like, there's gonna need to be certain areas that need to get boosted and taken away, depending on the mic you're using, depending on your voice. Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. Doing tutorials. I also wouldn't be cranking any of these or really diminishing any of these. You know, once you start having seven EQs that look like this, there's something going wrong. You wanna keep it very simple and basic. The next thing is important. I'm gonna go into free limiter. I'm gonna click compression. Tutorial. Love free limiter because you can see the, the vocal. I'm going to turn this threshold down like to about there and I'm going to turn the ratio up all the way 20 to fucking one ratio. Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. I'm going to turn the threshold down a little bit more and I'm going to turn the gain up to like 6 dB. Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. This is the shit where you go, oh man, I sound like a professional now. Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. Uh, doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. Uh, fuck shit. I hope you learn how to mix this in your spare time. Uh, shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, this shit took me like 20 fucking seconds to make. <laughs> Let's throw some delay on there. You know, the classic. I'm gonna right click on the time. Set to eight steps. That's the classic. Turn the offset off a little bit. Turn this feedback volume down. I'm also going to turn the input volume down a little bit. Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. Uh, fuck shit. I hope you learn how to mix this in your spare time. Uh, let's throw a little reverb on there too, shall we? Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. Reverb is such like it depends on how you like it type of thing. Some people crank the reverb. Some people don't use enough. Doing tutorials in my fucking spare time. Uh, fuck shit. The next thing you're going to want to do is come into the slicer tool and cut all of these little blank spots. It's going to help. Time, uh, time, uh, and I think there's plugins that do this too. Time, uh, fuck, shit, time, time. It just makes everything sound cleaner so you're not having that airy background, especially if you have a shitty mic. Time, uh, fuck, shit, time, uh, fuck, shit. And sometimes people cut too much stuff out and sometimes a little <gasps> sometimes a little breathing stuff is kind of fire. Time, uh, fuck, shit. I hope you learn how to mix this in your spare time. Uh, shit, uh, yeah, uh, this shit took me like 20 fucking seconds to make. You make sure you have all the sounds in your track when you're mixing your vocals so you can see all the levels of everything. Time, uh, fuck, shit. Where is time, the 808? Uh, fuck, shit. Time, uh, from here, it all comes down to like leveling pretty much. You don't want to do too much EQing and all that crazy shit. From here, it just comes down to leveling and preference and blending and very subtle changes. Going back into the to the melody. Time. Uh, uh, leaving a little bit of room like where's my voice powerful? Where do I need to? Time. Uh, fuck. Shit. You might need to take something out of either the melody or like a bass line or something like that if the 808's coming in too harsh. And just to know where you're at with your mix, you can right click to solo these. You want to listen to the vocals with just the melody. Time. Uh, fuck. Shit. I hope you learn how to mix this in your spare time. Uh, shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, this shit took me like 20 fucking seconds to make. I hope that you learn how to mix all your shit. Uh, yeah. Sounds pretty good. I'm gonna listen to the 808 first with the vocal. Time, uh, fuck, shit. I hope you learn how to mix this in your spare time. Uh, shit, uh, yeah, uh. Now all the drums. Time, uh, fuck, shit. I hope you learn how to mix this in your spare time. Uh, shit, uh. You wanna keep an eye on your master too to make sure your master's not going through the roof. Time, uh, 
fuck shit. I hope you learn how to mix this in your spit. I like to keep it below minus 3 dB. Fuck shit. It's right around three, but you know, it's a tutorial. And then for the stock plugin masterpiece, let's go into Maximus. If you just want to come up with a simple mix, dude, this is like the easiest way to do it. Go into Maximus, click this top one, presets, mastering, clear, master. You can click this circle right here to see where you're at. You also might need a de-esser. I just started using the waves de-esser. It's very simple. You just turn a knob and pull it down. Depending on like how you like your mix. I tend to like take this high knob and do this. And just to make everything a little bit brighter. But sometimes I make the S's and the P's a lot crazier. I'm also going to go into the post and turn it up. And the mastering process, when you're throwing it in Maximus, you'll get to see where, where you're at with your mix wise. Even if you are sending this away for someone else to mix and master, it's good to know all this stuff. So you can come up with your own mix to have an idea what you're doing. And then if you want to send this to someone, you might even keep a lot of these effects on so that they can just level it and get all the frequencies working together and then master it themselves. Sometimes the vibe of a song comes when you're in here and you're like ruthlessly just like cutting out all the highs right here. Or something like that and then when you throw it to an engineer, I'll do something else. This has been asked to me for the longest time, vocal mixing tutorial. And this is it. I hope that helps. Make sure you subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace. This should take me like 20 fucking seconds to make.